Hey, I'm Kev Kev. Go, welcome back to Rims Racing. As last time out, we didn't have fun around Laguna. Now we are heading to Mo Sport and into Canadian Time Out Sports Park on our Kazaki, but it is pissing down. So here we are on the grid then, starting 10 out of 10. We have seven outside of us. I'm going to get a good start. Not bad. And the inside light up. And the inside light most of the field. Up into third. In a second. And around the outside into the lead. That was easy enough, wasn't it? Alright, just to hold on for another six and a half laps. To try and win this Kazaki competition so we can get this ninja. Which we'd love. Okay, good exit onto the bat stretch. Only will breather on this circuit. I say bat stretch is like bendy as well, so you still have to keep an eye ahead. Push into the fast right hander that comes up the end. Of it. The bike roll through the first right. Kind of try and hit the apex for the second. And roll it through the last couple of corners. We go uphill. Hitting third, getting the power nice and early. Here we go. There's the lap of Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. Into the first corner, just keep it tight. Oh, I'll see you at the end, hopefully. Oh, what the hell? And the rear lifted, or front lifted. I was turning. Oh, God's sake. Now we've got to do some overtaking again. Yeah, I can't see that from my view. It was like the bike's planted, but it must have been in the air. I come back it me at all or just breaking a straight line that will do as well we're trying to find a way through in these last corners that won't work will it using it to like the first corner or oh, a bit wider in the final corner Good acceleration. Nice round the outside. No penalty. Of course not. A little bit wide. Careful on the power out of here. We know that now. We're kind of halfway through the race. Would be cruising the victory after that opening that, but got battle on our hands. Oh, a bit wide, bit wide. There we go, good acceleration, no. And then again, they're breaking on a straight. What the hell? We go use all the engine braking. Bit of course in the final corner. Right, with three laps to go. I'm well, looking to hold on here rather than cruise the victory. We go too wide. Bike just roll through the corner. Good 
And uphill. Downhill. So you go uphill for the first one and slightly down for the second. Through moss. Right, we've got a gap now. It should be okay. Oh, I think it has proved to be much easier the last couple of laps. So we've been lapping in the low 22s, not pushing too hard. I'm saying that as we're close to our fastest lap here. Go for the final couple of corners. You can see that's much better lines. Well, a bit tight in the final corner. We end with a 21 and victory. Canada. As you win by almost nine over nine seconds in the end. Well, I fast that three seconds quicker. Alright, so that was a good good start, wasn't it? As oh. Welcome to Spain. Over 20 kilometers as well. She's really loving it. Uh, let's get underway for this head to head. Well, I'd say 20 kilometers. You've only got 17.67. That's we're on our Suzuki. Oh, they've crashed. They've crashed. Go, 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 go. End the race. End it now. Is that the only chance we have of winning is head to head? Oh. If I didn't have wing mirrors, get rid of the wing mirrors. I need wing mirrors. Need to get rid of them. All right. Let's see if we can follow this rider. But the rest of the way. There's all the braking very heavily. Oh, they I might rid it down the inside. We'll take that. Let's say to follow them and then we immediately take the lead from them. Which is not ideal because I don't really know the course too well. Oh, God. That's showing. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, that Suzuki's ended up in someone's apartment. Right, we need to catch up. I need someone to follow. Oh, this is the reverse of when we did it before. I've just realised that. We've only done this circuit once and we did it the other way around. That might be why it's shorter as well. Yeah, we've only done it the other way. Because now we've got the hairpins at the beginning here rather than at the end. These are lots of rear brakes to help us stop. Come oh, on, they're like a few seconds up the road. We need to gain at least like a second so we can just follow them. You can see they're like tantalise the up the road from us. Like five seconds, I think, in their heads. Oh, look at the road. So you can really look ahead. Is good. Go again in. Yeah, they're slow into these sections. We've gained massively through it. Oh, don't go too wide. Look at that, we've like more than half the gap. We definitely see them now. This is what we need. This is the distance we need. So we can follow them around. But we're like a third the way through the map. Why are they going so slow there? I know we've got a hairpin coming up, but you're breaking slower than I am. What the hell? Oh, we can see a road ahead. Like a kilometre ahead, it's okay. This is almost like Monte Carlo or like... Or... Is it Rally Spain? And hit the walls. Oh, they tip ahead. Much more confident in the fast stuff, aren't they? And it's like... Oh, 
Oh, what the fuck? Didn't even realise you could go off there. That. that was good to find out, wasn't it? We haven't lost too much. Come on. Come on. I right, don't take the corner too tight. We know not to do that now. I like that for once one of the these are like close. Normally we're 15 seconds behind them by now. Oh no no no. What the fuck? Oh come on. I tapped the rear brake and that just acted like a handbrake and flipped us. Right now, unfortunately, we've got to push, even though we don't know where we're going. So that's good to know. But I can hear them still. Oh, this is. Oh my god, this corner lasts forever. Come on, corner, straighten up. I don't know how tight the corners are. Now they're blind, the corners. Can we go back to be going uphill? I'm not sure I like this. I'm going to send me going downhill, but... Yeah, we're starting to descend again. Oh, that last crash has killed us. Like, we're still in range before that, but now I, I don't know where they are, so... I said we don't know the... The circuit well. Because we've got worn tyres on it, because I didn't think I'd do well. But I started with like 70% tyres, which I imagine I'm like half that now. Oh, what the hell? The brakes. Loving the brakes. I thought we could engine brake, obviously not. Oh, we can engine brake there. Okay. Obviously didn't do it quick enough, did I? Oh, once again, for the most part we were close. Suffering silly crashes. We're almost near the end, four kilometers. We'll be twenty seconds down the road at least, I imagine. But it reminds me of What's we'll the French stages from Richard Burns Rally now? They've gone through the hairpins, now it's starting to get quick again and open up. I'm saying that another corner that lasts forever. Just in two kilometres from the end. This can compete in under 10 minutes. Oh, we're going through a tunnel. Yeah, they've crossed the line. Yeah, 1.5 kilometers ahead. We're never going to win one of these, are we? Yeah, get, yeah you have our bike. But it, as we're never going to... You can have our bike. Oh, they're just flat to the end. God damn it. That was the last corner. <laughs> Alright, so we can choose to go back to Canada. Go to Fuji. Or rest. 
was after that, we've got the Thunder Roar around the Paso San Marco. So that's actually a short event compared to that. We've already been to Canada. Yeah, let's go to Fuji. Oh, we are then. On the front row, starting third. Nice clear views. The first corner. Long run to it. Uh, it's a bit too much wheel spin, though. So here goes our clear view. Uh, so we've got six apps here in Fuji. Oh, we hit someone. Oh, no. Oh, come on. How can they do that and we can't? Get out of here. So you've got fresh, wet tyres as well on the bike. All right, so man, we can't touch the curbs. A reminder of that. As you go through Alonso Corner. Where you famously lost the 2007 world title. Right here. Rush into the inside barrier. In that chaotic race. As you have chaos in front of us. Right now, I'm going to last. We just carry the speed in fifth through that. Breaking just before the Dunlop Bridge. Everyone a bit awkward in front. All closing up again. As well, everyone. In his awkward final sector. I never know how to get this right. On a car or on a bike. All I know is we can't run ride. For any of it. But they didn't see this runoff. As the bike gets very unsettled if we go too wide. We're going not last after the first lap. We'll take it. Right, five to go to make up, what, eight places? That's two minutes out of that time. Are you going to hit 300Ks? Where are the marker boards? There's no brake marker boards. I had no idea what I was braking for. Oh, of course, he just put us down for no reason. We literally did a hard part of getting the bike stopped and then... Yeah. Yeah, there's no brake marker boards. I don't know where I'm braking. What the hell? I thought they had those before. But they taken them away. It's on the left. You could see there was like 200, 150, whatever. Oh my god, there's chaos in front. Yeah, I can see it on the... Oh, they're on the... Fence? There's oh, someone down. Oh, a bit messy in front. Well, they thought we were having a bad race. At least we're not the only one. Down the inside. Right, Yamaha. The inside. Not going to work out, is it? In this corner, so much tight on the exit. Bloody annoying. In the final corner, we can die to the inside, can we? No, we just get wiped out. All right. They literally ride like we're not there. That's nice to know. Seriously, this game got released way too early. Like, you needed probably another year. Just for our opponents, just for the AI alone, you needed another year. So underdeveloped. All right, come on, let's try and catch up. No, it's amazing how we're fine by ourselves, but when you immediately get close to the opponents, you seem to go down for some reason. Isn't that strange? There's Fuji in the background. And open up the exit.
Have the break so we don't go too wide. Oh my god, there though. That was nice to pop out, wasn't it? See a bike media in front of us. Oh, a bit wide. Gonna be cautious in this final sector. Oh yeah, we're net down the inside. So we won't make the move. We know we're not allowed to do that. And so we have closed up now. I saw that time. I'm looking for like 145s ideally. 147.3, that will do. Oh, now we can ride that curb. What the hell? Oh, don't go too wide. Just the outside, got the BMW in front. Not doing anything. Go up to eight. Making moves. Oh. Get a quarter second penalty for slowing ourselves down. Okay. Right, we're on the attack. Up to seventh. I see a podium still right in front. I see the win right in front, actually. But considering everything we've been through this race, I would definitely take. Did we get hit? What the hell happened there? Uh, is we into the top five? Which have they got the tote? There you go, there's a 145. Oh my god, what is everyone doing? Bloody hell, they can break so late. You get back down the inside up, back up to sit. Do you net down the inside for fifth? Now we can start working on the podium. Oh my god. Oh god, everyone's crashing in front. What the hell? Oh, up to second immediately. What is going on here? We had taken the lead. Oh no, Kazaki's back by. I have no idea what's happening. They don't seem to like that corner in the middle of the middle of the lap. That left hander. Does he take over the lead then with one lap remaining? Nice running wide. Again, if we go too shallow, it's very bumpy, look. All right, here we go then. Heading on to the final lap. Might have time to fit in San Marco after this. Oh, good brakes. We held on, we held on. Go, go, go. Oh my god, we're pulling away, I think. With half a lap to go. Well, this has been a good episode, hasn't it? 
Mostly done in Canada. We were close in Spain. For like two thirds at least of that race. And then here in Fuji. Had a whale of a time. After being a bit of a beach dwell in the early parts, we've gone through. And on to the, the start finish straight, come through to win. Actually, I shouldn't mention whales in this part of the world, should I? There you go, victory in Fuji. On our Suzuka, first victory on the Suzuka, I think, as well as, yeah, fastest lap, 45, so doing 47s. Nicely done. And there we go, we get all the cash all power oil stuff. Okay, so I don't think we actually have time to do the next part of the Thunder Raw Cup. So we'll do that next time, and then it's the last part of the Kawasaki event, as once again, we go to Canadian Time Mode Sports Port with it raining. What the hell? Okay, go, that's pretty weird. And then Nürburgring. Getting back to the Rims World Championship where we have maximum points so far. So looking to extend our lead again before probably rest. And yeah, I'm not sure I want to do either of those. So we'll probably rest. And then our 50th event will be around the Nürburgring on our Suzuki 4 sponsored race. But thanks for watching all. And I will see you next time.